Hi, I'm Winston Wu. I'm a PhD candidate at Johns Hopkins University, where I work on natural language processing across thousands of languages. Today I'm going to present Yawapa, a tool that I wrote to facilitate my research on low resource languages. Wiktionary is a well-known multilingual dictionary, and it contains a lot more than what you might find in a traditional dictionary. There's a lot of interesting data within a Wiktionary, but to access it programmatically, you have to use an API, which is slow, or you have to read a big complicated XML dump. Yawapa does all the hard work for you. It reads the XML dump and extracts and normalizes all this information you see here into a nice tab-separated file that you can easily use in whatever downstream application you're working on. So how does it work? Basically, the content of each page in Wiktionary is encoded in media wiki markup that you see on the right. For each page, Yawapa will split this markup into headings and blocks, and then it processes each block separately. Along the way, it interprets and extracts relevant information from Wiktionary templates, which are surrounded by the double braces. In this box, we see the HTML rendered version of this template below, which basically says the French word car is inherited from this old French word care, which means as, since, because, or for. Yawapa will extract this inheritance relation as well as the gloss for this word. And this is actually one thing that existing Wiktionary parsers don't do. So Yawapa will interpret freeform text, such as these glosses and definitions of words, and then normalizes them into lexical translations. Yawapa extracts a ton of information that is valuable for researchers in NLP and historical linguistics. I'll briefly mention a couple things that I've worked on using this data. I've used this data for computational etymology. So given a word, can we predict what language it came from, what was the donor word, and what would this word look like in another language? Using multilingual translations, I trained models to predict words we've never seen before in related languages. This was used to resolve unknown words in machine translation. And I also developed a new criterion for core vocabulary, which is a set of concepts that speakers of any language should know. Alpha is very easy to use. Just clone our repo, download the Wiktionary dump of the edition you want, and then run the script. Wait a little while, and then out comes a TSV file. You can also run it programmatically, as shown here. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is that Yawapa has parsers for several editions of Wiktionary, whereas most existing parsers only support the English edition. We're looking for people to help improve these parsers, so let me know if you're interested. I'd also love to hear if you use Yawapa in any of your own projects. And please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. I hope Yawapa will be a useful tool for researchers as well as anyone interested in languages.